Hi everyone, it's Jen from the Planner Chicky. I am going to do a desk tour, craft tour. I really don't know what I'd call it. I mean, I call it my table, so I'm not that fancy. Anyway, this is a backup. It's going to be a moving video, so if you don't like that, I totally understand because I'm sort of similar depending on how much movement is happening. Also, it's going to be a long video, so grab yourself a little snack, a little drink, and let's go. This is where I sit down to do all of my I want to say crafting because I know people say that, but I don't craft. I make, I can make a paper clip and a ribbon, but that's about it. Oh, and I make a mean tassel. This is where I do all my planning and fooling around and, you know, normally having a good time. So this is my second bedroom in my apartment, and that's the view. This is also the brightest room, although the sun is past us now, so that's why it's not as super bright. And this is the left-hand side. Go around, going around. And this is the right hand side. Okay, now I'm going to show you underneath. Don't judge. I mean, you can judge if you want to. I don't know you, but still. This is an old table that I got from my parents, and it is humongous. That's where I keep all my uh, papers, and they're sort of like a, you know, like a 12 by 12s. Uh. <laughs> it's an empty Christmas wrapper that my dog was playing with. And that is a pile of junk, I don't mind telling you. And then on this side, I have my Raz Cog cart. I was just looking for that bottle of lotion. And then on the other side behind me is another, um, like I think it's a 6 or 12 tier thing. Okay, so we'll go over here. Oh, by the way, this is contact paper. I filmed this video before, and I could not get the words out of my brain. And you can see what a great job I've done. I'm going to zoom in because this is the actual color of the table, and I missed this whole section. Anyway. I didn't want to use gray, but I thought it would be a nice neutral, something that doesn't just pop up. And then I covered the other side also with gray. See? But I covered it with this shelf liner just because I thought it looked cute, different. Here is my most used item. This is a Michaels, whoops, hold on. This is a Michaels craft thing, organizer, I think it's called. And it runs for $50 because it's $49 and change. To me, that's $50. And I got it on like some crazy storage special because I had my eye on this for a very long time. And I got got it for $20. Oh, yeah. Score. And funny story. What, oh, the so dog says hi. Of course, because what would a vlog be without Roxy barking at leaves going by? Um, it was squashed. Like the particle board was all messed up on all the ends. So I returned it and they gave me another one. So thank you, Michaels. Quick tour, we're not going to look at everything in here. This is my washi tape cutting section and folding section and planning section. So this is my planning album of stickers. This is the happy planner. So if I need to grab stickers, I grab from here. I have a whole drawer full of stickers, but this is the ones I use the most. This is my Project Life cards that I was just working with. Some post-it notes and I was making paper clips out of the purple ones and now I'm doing pink. And here is nothing. Glue. Over here, we've got a paper clip holder. Came with a Kiki K. Super cute. Made, made, made. And this was given to me during a swap. Sticky notes, sticky notes, sticky notes, sticky notes. Over here, we've got a hole punch. This is what I punch every single piece of paper that's in my planner. I use that. I do have a Repesco, but I don't enjoy it. This is just garbagey stuff. All kinds. This is my the rest of this year's inserts. I use these little plastic sheets as like a pencil board if I need it. And then this is the rest of the so much crafting um, inserts that I use for my checking count. This is more sticky notes. And then in the middle, funny story, this little, I don't need this in here, but this is what I had everything in before I bought this little storage center. And this was made by my sister. Little ceramic jar. Back in 1986. So funny. Um, she laughs at me because I kept it. I just think it's so cool. And if it's not broke, don't fix it. So it holds all my um, scissors, my Sharpie knife, etc. Also, got an Artist Loft palette knife to try with my washi. I saw um, one of the 
people I subscribe to, Cindy Garibaldi, totally just butchered her freaking last name. Um, I'll link her below. Go check out her channel. It's amazing. Tell her I said hi. And this over here is my pretty station, if you will. Something I look at and I enjoy. So this is another, uh, I think, funny story. My family thought I was crazy. I bought that at Macy's. It's just an acrylic tray with gold hearts below. And they thought it was a display for scarves because scarves were on it, but it was for sale. Even the register person was like, are uh, you sure? And I'm like, yeah, look at the tag. So I bought it under 20. Thought that was great because I'm a huge acrylic person and I like the gold. So my theme for the room is gold, teal, this damn dog, I'm going to punch her in the face. Not really. Please don't leave me mean comments. I'm a huge animal lover. Um, gold, teal, and white. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we've got an ampersand, otherwise known as an and sand. And sand. <laughs> Calling it something new today. <laughs> or an and symbol. A J symbol, because it's my name. A little birdie. Another little birdie. Another little birdie. This is actually a Christmas decoration that my mom gave me. And I like it because I think it's pretty. And inside here is random washi tape. That's actually Joanne's washi tape. It's from Joanne Fabrics paper clips and whatnot and then this cute bowl I got from Target so cute see it's gold and white and it was on sale for I think three dollars and this is all my oh, no ring. cute uh, this is all my washi tape leftovers so I've cut them cut down washi tape and I spun it onto here or if I rack something out I put it on these little spools they're called plastic sewing spools and it sends out Send it out. Okay, that's that section. And this is a clear, or clear. This, did I say this already? If I said it, I'm really sorry. I don't think I did. This is a cheap $5 Walmart lamp. I have it facing the white blinds so that when they're closed and I'm filming, it bounces off. At least I think it works. Uh, it probably really doesn't. My jar collection. I've just acquired this one from Target. This is from Michaels. This is from Michaels. You have to buy the jar separately. Um, but I just like the lids with the knobs on top of it. I think it's cute. So this one holds all of my Little Bee washi tapes. I think they're one millimeters. They're gorgeous. They're like jewelry. Yes. And then I've got Room to Grow. I'm all about Room to Grow. And then here is my collection of drawers. Had these for quite some time. Really long time. Especially this, this 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 yeah I've had them off for the same amount of time um, there's another one that goes right here but I have it in the living room so in this one you can see there's masking stickers and these are the stickers I grab right away if I'm like planning on the go or going on vacation etc and there's also some punches in here too yeah see if I have extra scrap paper I'm throwing away I'll punch them out just so if I need them I like to use them for labels in my planner this is highlighter flags this is this year's planner so far. Oh, and two spools. They're the inserts I took out. Um, labels. There are all kinds of labels. I use these in my planner. Colored them up with some paint. And then the real storage for my um, masking stickers, even in the tins. Okay, so that's that little section. Over here, we have the Scotch washi tape holder and I put a whole sleeve you know you can buy a sleeve of masking tape from Michaels and I did that with the wig the, the wiggles the wiggles I said that I didn't mean to say the wiggles oh brain is broken they're these and then here's my washi tape drawer like I said the other one or maybe I didn't say is in the living room so there's that one and there's this one it holds a lot it's not organized you're probably thinking you, you do nothing but organize videos, and yet your crap is unorganized. I know. I can't put things into a color combination because then I don't use all my washi tape. So I will find something I like, and then blammo, I'll grab something coordinating. Except for this three rows, the only exception, because these are a set, a set, and a set of washi. So that's how my brain works. Over here are some washi cards. Sometimes I'll chuck them into my planner. Under that is some more binder clips. Under here is all post-it flags that have been open and I'm using actively. Under here is same thing with sticky notes, Target, wherever, Kate Spade. And in here is post-it notes because I've been really liking these and aligned ones. 
I use the lined ones at work, to be honest. It's just a quilt I enjoy. That usually sits right here. Okay, we're all the way over to this side. And here is my junk jar. This is just a Target jar. I made, um, what do you call this? It's out of paper, but it's out of wrapping paper, actually. And I tried to make it a bookmark, but it's kind of warped. Kate Spade bookmark, a little quote. And then in here is all my dollar store washi tapes that my friend Tessa sent me. Thank you, Tessa. I'll link her below so you can go tell her I said hello. Go over there and say, Pulling your chickie sent me. She does great videos too. She's a huge sticker collection. My gosh. I think she owns every sticker Etsy ever, ever, ever made. And here is, I think this was meant to be a candle holder. Yeah, see. Oh, you can't see. A votive candle holder. But I just thought it was cool. Like a crackle gold. I liked it. And then in here is all, oh gosh. Hobby Lobby washi tape that I got on my latest Hobby Lobby trip, which is over an hour away because we don't have one near me. This is bothering me. Okay, sorry. Um, and that's what it looks like inside. I just think it's cool. Oh, side note, look at a bird flew into my window and broke the little wood sections. Thanks, bird. This is a... Gosh, my brain is broken. I just said that into the video. Eh, real life. Um, this is a Target lamp, and it's got gold flecks of sparkle. I'm trying to get in close so you can see it. And I just like it because it's not a heavy lamp, like, because you can see through it. It was on sale from 40 or 60 down to 11. So I snapped that puppy right up. Then this, you may have seen in another video if you're a subscriber, and I thank you for being one. If you're not, hit the button. Uh, this is, I think it's a towel holder. It got it at Home Goods. I chuck a whole bunch of washi tape on it. I plan with these, I plan with these, I plan with these, and the rest are decorative. And the bottom layer is stuff I haven't used yet. This is a garbage bowl. You know, you watch Rachel Ray sometimes, and she's got this garbage bowl. And when I craft, I need one, because I don't want to just have a pile and not have to bring to the, you know, kitchen. So I put that there. It works great when it's full. Chuck it into the garbage. And this is where I sit and plan. I hope you all enjoyed my video. If you have any questions, obviously leave a comment below. I answer all comments and questions once I post a video because that's when I'm on my channel and that's when I do all my work. Hope everybody has a great day and I'll see you on my next one.